Hello viewers, if you are planning to build your IT career as a data engineer, analyst, data scientist or a reporting expert, one of the best things to do is to learn Microsoft Power BI. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to connect Power BI with both a password protected and an unprotected Microsoft Access database and resolve any connection issues. So viewers, while connecting to an unprotected access database is quite simple, I have seen quite a few issues are encountered by Power BI users when connecting to a password protected Microsoft access database because there is no straightforward method to connect to a password protected access database. So I made this video which will be helpful in resolving these connection issues. I have separate tutorials on how to download and install Microsoft Power BI to create informative, nice looking analytical reports from different databases like Oracle, MySQL, Postgres, or even Microsoft Access Database, etc. You may watch those tutorials using the links in the description of this video below. I will cover mainly three topics in this tutorial. First, I will show you how to connect Power BI to an unprotected access database. Although it's very simple and you might already know how to do that, I am just including this step so I can better explain the differences, the issues and the solutions in the next steps. In the second place, I will show you how to connect Power BI to a password protected access database using a pre-created ODBC DSN or Open Database Connectivity Data Source name. And in the third place, I will show you how to connect Power BI to a password protected access database without an ODBC DSN. Let me first show you my local Microsoft Access Database created in this 64-bit Windows 10 computer. This Access Database named HR has been created using 64-bit Microsoft Access 2021 MSO version 2401 build 16.0. The database is currently not password protected. It has some employee data in a table called employee. Let me open it and show you what it has. So this is the table employee and it has some 12 records and some sample employee data with employee ID, department, first name, last name and the salary information. Let's close it. Now let's go to our Power BI console and see how we can connect to this database. I am using Power BI version 2.126. Your version may be different based on when you installed it. To connect to an unprotected Microsoft Access database, we will first click on this Get Data button here, then go to More. In this dialog box, we will select on the database if Microsoft Access is not listed in this right-hand side pane, but for us, the Access database is already there. We'll just select it and click on the Connect button, and then we will browse to our database location. So my database is under E drive and under that there is a directory data and there is our access database named HR. So I'll select it and open it and it will take a few seconds to connect and the connection has been established and it will show us whatever tables it has so we have just one table there called employee. We'll select this checkbox and it will give us a preview of the data in the right hand side. And then we will simply click on the load button to load the data. Now the data has been loaded and extreme right hand side, we can see under this data ribbon, the employee table is listed. And in the left hand side, if we click on this table view icon, we'll be able to see the sample data all the 12 records that the table has being displayed here. Now I'll go back to the report view. Now let's remove this table from the data model, delete from model, confirm. And this is how we can connect to an unprotected Microsoft Access database from Power BI. Next, we will take the password protected access database scenario and we'll use the ODBC with DSN method. This method is useful when your system already has 
an user DSN or data source name created for the access database or you want to create a multipurpose user DSN and use that in your applications. We will first set a password to the access database. So let's go to the Microsoft Access Console, click on the file menu, click on open, then click on browse. And in the open dialog box, we will go to the location where our database is located, select it. And in this open button, we will select the option open exclusive. And then we will go to the file menu again, and then click on the info item. And under that, encrypt with password, we'll click on this button and we'll assign a simple password, welcome one. Repeat it, welcome one. Click OK. We are OK with this. Encrypting with a block cipher is incompatible with row level locking. Row level locking will be ignored. Click OK. And the password has been set. Now we will close the database and we will reopen it. And next time it will ask for the password. Welcome one is the password and it is open. Now let me first show you what happens when we try to connect from Power BI to this password protected database the same way as we did for the unprotected database. So we will go back to the Power BI console and from there first get data more and then we will select Microsoft Access Database here. Click on connect and we are already in that location. Select the HR database, try to open and we'll be mostly encountering an issue which will tell us not a valid password. You see this error message here. Although we have seen it has never asked for database credentials or provided a prompt to supply the password, it just gave us this error message, not a valid password. To overcome this issue, we will proceed with the ODBC with DSN method. So first we'll cancel this then click on the windows start button here and type in odbc this will bring up two options here odbc data sources 64 bit and odbc data sources 32 bit based on your operating system you select the one that is appropriate for you i am selecting the 64 bit one i'll click on run as administrator option here and in this dialog box we will first click on this add button under the user dsn tab click on add and the Microsoft access driver is at the top of the list. So we will select this, click on the finish button. Then we need to provide a name for the data source. We'll simply put EMP here. If you want, you can put some description. I will just put employee data. And next we'll select the database under this database section. So click on the select button and browse to the location where we kept our database so it is under e drive data folder and this file hr.accdb is the microsoft access database file click on the ok button at this stage if you want you can click on this advanced button and put a login name and password there which will be set for the dsn that you created but power bi will anyway ask you for the credentials when you try to connect to this dsn so you may leave it blank. But if you have other applications which does not specifically provide authentication screen and simply depend on the ODBC DSN created, then you may put those credentials here. Just for demonstration purpose, I will put the login name as admin here. Actually, it does not matter because we did not assign any username to the Microsoft Access database. We just set one password as welcome one. So in the password field, we have to put the correct password that is welcome one leave all the other fields as default and then we will click on the ok button and under this options section there are a couple of other options that you can set but we will just leave it as default for now and then click on the ok button and as we can see that a dsn or the data source with the name emp is created under the user dsn section now click OK button to close this window. Now we will click on this get data button under the Power BI console again. 
and then we will click on this more and in this search box this time we will simply put odbc and we'll click on this result odbc then click on this connect button now from odbc in this window we will select the dsn that we just created with the name emp you don't have to put anything under this advanced options i'm just expanding it to show you what are the things available there then we'll simply click on the ok button and now we get the password prompt so again as i mentioned it doesn't matter what you put in the username because actually there is no username for the microsoft access database but without supplying something here you cannot skip this page so we have to just put an admin here as username and the password the actual password that we set in the microsoft access database that is welcome one and then we will click on the connect button And now you see that it has connected to the data source as a ODBC where our hr.accdb file is located. Expand this to open the database file and we can see the employee table here. Select the checkbox and it gives us a preview. Click on the load button. And the data has been loaded as we can see in the data ribbon here. We have the employee table. Now let's click on the table view and we are able to see all our 12 records here. So this is how we can use the ODBC DSN method to connect Power BI with a password protected Microsoft Access database. And next we will take the password protected database and use the method of ODBC without an user DSN. This method is useful when you don't have rights to create an user DSN. But before that, Let's go back to the report view and remove the employee table from the data model and also remove the data source in Power BI that we just created by going to the data source settings under transform data menu and delete it by clearing all the permissions and click the close button. For this method also, first we will click on this get data button, go to more we will again search for ODBC and select the ODBC result here and click on the connect button. Then in this from ODBC box, unlike the last time, this time we will select the Microsoft Access database, this generic data source here. Last time we selected this EMP data source. This time it is MS Access database. And we'll expand this advanced options here. And in this connection string box, we have to specify the full part of the Microsoft Access database that we are trying to connect with a parameter called dbq. So dbq equals the full part of the database. Then click on the OK button. And we get the password prompt here. We will supply the username as admin. Again, it doesn't matter which username we are supplying but we have to provide the password correct which is welcome one and then click on the connect button and as expected we see the odbc data source has been listed here and also the microsoft access database file if we expand this we are able to see the employee table let's select the checkbox the preview is appearing then click on the load button to load the data and as we see under the data ribbon the employee table is available and if we go to the table view we are able to see all the 12 records available from the employee table now let's see another scenario where the microsoft access database is not available as a generic dsn first let me go to the report view and then we will remove the employee table from the data model and we'll also remove all the permissions for the data source that we created by clicking on the clear permissions and then close it click on the get data menu item and go to more then we'll go to odbc 
option again click connect now in this scenario under the data source name in this drop down for some reason your microsoft access database this particular option or the generic dsn is not available or not displayed but you are sure that you have the microsoft access driver installed in your system then you can use this option so what you have to do you have to select this none option here then expand the advanced options and then in this connection string box we have to supply two parameters this time the driver parameter and separated by a semicolon we have to supply the dbq that is the location of the access database so in this drivers parameter we have to supply within curly braces microsoft access driver and within bracket we have to put star.mdb comma star.accdb which is our database type so you have to be careful while providing this string there should not be any syntax errors everything has to be correct for the connection to succeed and then click on the ok button and this will again give us the password prompt where we'll supply the admin as username and the password as welcome one that we set for the microsoft access database then click on the connect button and as expected again we see the odbc data source listed under the navigator box and we see the database also listed here let's expand the database and we see the employee table click on the checkbox the preview is given and then click on the load button to load the data and we see the employee table has been loaded and then go to the table view and we see all the 12 records appearing here so this is how we can overcome the power bi connection issue with a password protected microsoft access database out of the three methods that i demonstrated one of the methods should work for you this is all for this episode and i will be back with another database related tutorial next week so viewers please provide your feedback in the comment section of the video and hit the like button if you found it useful that will mean a lot to me and help grow this channel